Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an eyebrow routine because I posted on Instagram like for you guys to give me ideas for makeup looks and I got a bunch of requests for an eyebrow routine because I haven't done one in a long time and nobody has ever seen the way I actually do my brows now because it's different from my last brow routines. So yeah guys, if you want to learn how I get my brows to be as on fleek as possible, then just keep watching. Hi guys, so I like to do my brows before I do anything else on my face other than like my skincare obviously, but I like to put on my brows before I do any other makeup because I feel like the brow products just adhere better to the face when there's nothing else on them. I feel like when I do my foundation or anything else, I it's like a little bit slippery when I put them on and I kind of like lose control and it's just a little bit messy. So I like to do them first and also it just like nicely frames the face beforehand. Um, so so the first product we're going to use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is the absolute best brow product you will ever, ever try. Like, hands down, the moment I got this and used it, I have not been back to another brow product since, except for when this runs out and I'm waiting to get a new one. Then I'll, like, use my other brow products just because I have to. But this is by far my favorite brow product in the history of the world. <laughs> and I have the shade Soft Brown. There's a... Mm, I think there's like eight different shades or something but I like my brows to be a little bit lighter than my hair so I go with soft brown and it's like not it's not cool but it's not warm it's like right in between nice and neutral so that's why I love this shade but we're first going to take the spoolie which by the way even if you run out of a brow wiz or you end up using another product instead I would absolutely save it save a brow wiz just for the spoolie because this is honestly the best part oh well, not the best part but it is like the best spoolie I've ever used in my life so what we're gonna do is take the spoolie and just brush everything up and you want to do this because we're gonna start on this bottom line and so you want to see exactly where well we're gonna be doing a line but you want to see exactly what shape you should be going in so you want to brush everything upwards okay and now we're gonna take the other end of the brow wiz which is the actual pencil and I would definitely recommend when you use a brow wiz don't turn it up a lot like literally leave the tiniest bit of brow wiz toward at the end that you can because these things are very very thin and if you have too much pushed up they will break and you don't want to waste your brow wiz so just keep the tiniest little bit at the tip of the brow wiz and these are retractable which is why I'm saying like keep only a tiny bit um and so we're just gonna start I like to start at the front and the bottom and just make a line basically just like trace the natural shape of your brow along the bottom line of it this is going to be actually very difficult to talk and do my brows at the same time <laughs> because I like get so concentrated when it comes to my brows. So just go ahead and follow the natural shape of your brows. We're basically just going to trace the bottom line of our eyebrow all the way out until the tail. So now we're going to go up right here where the arch of the brow is and kind of go down and meet the ends together to make the tail of your brow. I have a feeling that my brows aren't going to look as on fleek because I'm talking during this. <laughs> but, you know, you win some, you lose some. Okay. So once that is on there, I like to take a little bit and just kind of like fill in this area. Because it's very, very sparse. There you go. And then I'm going to start at the beginning over here and trace a line across the top of it. And I like to go in small short strokes. It gives it a little bit more natural of a feel and it just seems easier to do it that way. And then when we get to this arch point, I'm going to round it out. So I'm not obviously gonna make like a pointed line. I'm gonna keep it very, very round and arched. And then I'll take that spoolie and blend everything and you can tell this spoolie is amazing because it just kind of like meshes everything together it's amazing okay and then when we get to this front part I like to keep my brows around in the front because when they're square they look a little bit too harsh so I basically just go ahead and like round this out 
It doesn't have to be too precise at this point because we are going to take some concealer and carve it out. But at that point, I just like to go in to the bottom and make sure the shape is exactly the way I want it. And there you go, that's the first brow done. And now we're gonna go on to the second one and do the exact same thing. And my brows are basically two different shapes, but I like to take this pencil and kind of correct them and make them as uniform as possible. They're never gonna be exact twins because they'd honestly look weird if they were, but we like to kind of make them a little bit more uniform. So now that we're done with the Brow Wiz, we're going to go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo, and this is in the shade Medium Brown. I'm going to take this little tiny smudger brush, I'm going to just go into both of the shades, kind of mix them together, and then we're going to fill in all of these sparse areas of the brow that the pencil didn't cover, and kind of fill in those spots. I like to do this. I like to do this because I think it makes the brow look a little bit softer than the pencil does in this kind of correction. So I like to fill it in with powder. It's a lot quicker actually, and I think it looks a little bit more natural. And then once again, go in with the best spoolie in the world. Okay, and so now that they're basically done, we're gonna go ahead and set them. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel because I'm trying to use it up. But another one of my favorite, and honestly one that I like more than the Anastasia one, is this Milani Clear Brow Shaping Clear Gel. And it's got a really, really awesome brush. It's like $8 and the Anastasia one can make your, your brows really, really crunchy, and this Milani one does not, so I actually prefer this one. But I am trying to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills one up just because I have it, and I know a lot of people do like it, so if you do, go ahead and use it. But that Milani one I honestly like better. And I just like to brush them up to keep them in place, and I think that brushed up brows just look a lot better. <laughs> and then there you go and then at this point I will go ahead with some tweezers and pluck any stray hairs that are around the shape of the brow including in between the brows <laughs> I like to pluck after I draw on the brows because that way you're not over plucking you're like plucking exactly what needs to go and not anything else Okay, and then after that, I like to go ahead and carve out my brows with some concealer. A lot of people don't like this technique because they think it's too harsh, but I personally love it because I think it just cleans everything up and makes them look a lot more crisp and precise. So I'm going to use my NYX Full Coverage Concealer. It comes in a little pot. This is in the shade Light. I'm going to take that on this little flat definer brush. I think this one is from Coastal Sense. And then basically, you just want to go ahead and trace the shape that you've already made of the brow. Okay, and once the concealer is on there, I like to take this Highlight Diffuser E71 brush and then just go ahead and blend out that concealer so it doesn't look crazy and harsh and kind of, yeah, crazy. So I just like to go in and blend all of this concealer out, and then you can't really even notice it. And then I'll just go back in with the Brow Wiz and kind of correct anything that the concealer kind of messed up.
Okay guys, and that's basically it for my brow routine. Okay ladies, that's basically it for my brow routine. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this gave you some tips and tricks on how to make your brows as fabulous as possible because brows are a lifestyle and if you're not living it, go away. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I love filling in my brows. I never thought I would be the type to do it, but it is like seriously my favorite part of the day, putting my brows on. But yeah. I know a lot of people are going to think I have really harsh brows. Everybody tells me in the comments how you should try a more natural brow, blah, blah, blah. But, like, I love my brows. If you've got something to say about my brows, I literally never listen because I like them the way they are. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I love you so much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.